can see, we have our mobile Camp David with us. It is somebody's birthday. <laughs> so they had uh, bison, uh, buffalo, um, I said buffalo patties. They were buffalo sausage patties. Uh, slightly different there. <laughs> Kids and Luke both got me. Although there are only two choices on the menu for dinner, there are 24 desserts to choose from. No joke. Good morning everyone and welcome to Camp David Adventures. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jill. Welcome to our channel. As you can see, we have our mobile Camp David with us. We are on yet another adventure. We are just a fun family channel that every day is an adventure and we'd like to share that with you even in our regular everyday life when we're not traveling. Raising our two teenagers is a fun journey to be on and we are just so happy to be able to share it with you here on YouTube. So once again, welcome to our channel. If you have not yet done so, please make sure and hit that subscribe button so you get notices when we do release new adventures every day. We have decided to go to South Dakota. Now this is not our first time in South Dakota. This is actually our second trip here. We were here two years ago um, exploring with the family, going to Mount Rushmore and seeing that for the first time together as a family. If you would like to see our first experience in South Dakota, check out the description below. We'll make sure and link those videos up for you. This time around, we're just here uh, maybe covering some of those things we didn't get to do the first time around, but also visiting some of our favorites of our last trip. And the other thing that Luke and I have just really found out at this stage in our life with raising two teenagers is just to be able to take a break when things get to be too hectic. A lot of times I feel like when we get into our everyday life routine, it can get overwhelming, always having an agenda, always having to stick to the crazy schedules. And I think at this point we kind of notice, even though that it's early fall and we're just getting started into our school routine and year, things were just starting to get too chaotic and too hectic and the kids were even starting to say that they just felt like things were too crazy so that's the joy of homeschooling and being able to get out there and just take a break from everything that's what we did we packed up the camper and are enjoying our spot here in South Dakota for the next few days and also celebrating my birthday. Luke and the kids thought it would be fun to come and do that, so I'm excited about that. So I am just getting ready to throw a quick breakfast together before we go out and see what we can find through the day, and we are looking forward to sharing this fun family adventure with you guys. All right, for today's breakfast, we're going to do breakfast tacos. That sound good? Yum. I have my sous chef here with me today. He's gonna help me. Luke and I I love cooking in the kitchen together, especially when we're camping. In the outdoor kitchen. Yes, outdoor <laughs> kitchen. So I'm gonna go over the recipe really quick. This is just a really quick recipe. It'd be great for you to try at home for a Saturday morning, but also we like to do this when we're camping. So let me show you the recipe and then Luke's gonna take over the grill for me. All right, so over here I have all of our ingredients and fixings set out for this recipe. So I'm gonna use two pounds of um, pork sausage. We've got five duck eggs here. These are from our ducks at home. I have done some pre-baked baked potatoes. What I'm gonna do with these is peel the skins off of them and I will shred them into hash browns. I've got salt, pepper, some onion salt. I'm gonna do some garlic salt. So really what we're gonna do is brown our sausage. Um, I'm gonna shred the potatoes into hash browns and while the sausage is browning, we're also gonna get those hash browns cooking as well. Scramble the eggs, get those cooked. And then once we're done, these are all the fixings that you'll need for this recipe. I, if you guys like sour cream, use sour cream. We've got some salsa. Of course, your tortilla shells and some shredded cheddar cheese. So this should come together really fast.
added a little bit of black pepper to the sausage and some meat church seasoned salt just to give it a little flavor, a little more flavor. I'm sure there's already some seasoning in it, but I like to add a lot of flavor to it. So now that we've got breakfast done, we're gonna go see what other adventures we can find today. Um, the campground that we're staying at this time is called Bluebell Campground. The last time we were here, we stayed at Grace Coolidge Campground and we like both of them. Uh, the last campground, we actually had a bison come into camp. It was quite exciting. So this one, they have horse stables here and um, we feel like the spaces are a little bit more spread out than the last one, so we really like the spot that we have um, and are just really enjoying where we're at this time. Our day did not go as planned. Um, we were getting ready to head out after breakfast and when Lincoln got up this morning, he said he wasn't feeling 100%. Well, as the morning went on, come to find out, it seems like he had a stomach bug. So we actually ended up spending most of the day at the camper. It was still a really great day just being able to be together as a family. And it was a fun place just to be able to hang out in the camper. We watched a couple of movies. Towards the end of the day, Lincoln started to improve and he says he's actually feeling better. He perked up pretty quick. So we thought we'd make the most of what we had left and we drove to Sylvan Lake and we're trying to catch the sunset before it goes down. So that's where we are right now. Sylvan Lake is a beautiful place. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And if some of you are familiar with the movie National Treasure, I think it's the second National Treasure where they film part of it. So that's where we're at. If you guys wanna see more of it during daytime, we're gonna put a link to the one video that we did when we were here before to help give you guys a better tour. But we are here at sunset. Today is the big day. The reason we're here, it is somebody's birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Happy 29th birthday, Jill. Yes, I love it. I can't wait to get in my 30s I next know, year. Right? Uh, we just got back from breakfast. We went to the Bluebell Lodge, which is right near here, and it's a cute little like, like um, lodge. Hunt hunting lodge. There's a bunch <laughs> of animals up on the walls and some bad taxidermy and. Yeah, there <laughs> but was the food an was, elk smiling. Yes, yeah, an elk smiling. But the food was actually really good. We had um, one of the things you find a lot of around here is uh, buffalo meat, and so bison. they had uh, bison uh, buffalo. Um, I said buffalo patties. They were <laughs> buffalo sausage patties. <laughs> uh, slightly different there. <laughs> the sauce, buffalo sausage, was really good though. It was the buffalo sausage gravy. So that I was think fun. the patties you were yeah. not to, trying to refer to are called chips. Oh so yeah, it's buffalo good. chips. Buffalo no, we didn't have any of those. 
Uh, so now it's just time to open some presents. I had a nice breakfast with my family this morning and then they brought me back here and you guys have outdone yourself with the gifts that they got me. I'm so excited. But here's a couple of things that they got me for my birthday this year. Um, this baking yesterday, yesteryear, yesteryear cookbook. Um, so I'm excited. It's recipes from 1900 all the way up to 1980s. I love cookbooks, not in the fact just to cook out of them, but I actually read them like chapter books. This is what I call a good read over a mystery or a thriller or something like that. I love reading cookbooks. So I can't wait to read through this. And um, I love just the nostalgic uh, aspect of this going through it. So I'm excited about that. And then the kids and Luke, both got me an outdoor pizza oven. <laughs> so I have been wanting one of these and I'm really excited to try it to go home and cook some homemade wood-fired pizza. So I uh, can't wait to bring you guys some episodes of me trying the pizza oven and seeing how it goes. And then there's one more thing that Luke got me that I have really wanted. And it's called a skylight calendar. And um, this is actually a neat little gadget. I'll kind of take it out of the box here to show you guys. But it is um, an electronic calendar that you can hang up in your home. It, only, it doesn't just handle calendars. It handles to-do lists, chore lists, all of it. But it is electronic and really thin and you can set up each individual person's calendar and it can show on the on the screen but also if there's to-do list or chore list i can add it in there and as luke or the kids get done with um something that we were needing to complete they can go along and check it off but it's also an access to each person's individual schedule and I'm looking forward to using this because the kids' schedule is definitely keeping us busy, but then we can also coordinate Luke's work schedule and just have it all in one place so we can all see it. So I look forward to getting home and getting that set up as well and showing you guys more of that. So I am truly spoiled and it's been a great birthday so far and we're still in the morning.
more. Um, for my birthday, I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. Hasn't changed since the last time we were here, but it's always fun to just come in and see it. And it's gorgeous during the day and even at night. So um, I was glad that we could all do this together again as a family and just see it. Every time you see it, it's just like, I don't know, it's awe-inspiring. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing what they've done. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So I love looking at it. It really is beautiful. I I really like it because I'm up there. <laughs> <laughs> it is really good. It makes me grateful to live in the land of the free. Okay, so we took Jill to dinner in a little restaurant in Hill City called Alpine Inn. And it's really unique here. It's like a German restaurant, but what's unique is they only have two items on the menu for dinner. One is a steak and the other is like a vegetarian German dish, like a spätzle. So we all got the steak and it's actually a really quaint little place. It's not, it's very busy and you have to wait like an hour to get in and it's a Wednesday or Tuesday. It's not even a, like a Friday night. And they only accept cash. So imagine how much money they make by saving the credit card fees that every restaurant gets hit with. So anyway, I'm excited to try the food. They give you like a salad, a wedge salad. Everything's very standard. It's like a wedge with ranch dressing, uh, rolls, baked potato with your steak, and uh, that's what we've got. So excited to try it. So one other thing about this restaurant is that although there are only two choices on the menu for dinner, there are 24 desserts to choose from. No joke, three pages of a dessert menu. And they all look amazing. I'm not even a dessert guy. I'd rather just have a steak and be done, but a steak is my dessert. But um, but it's Jill's birthday, so all four of us ordered dessert and we'll show you what we got. I really like this sort of a restaurant because I'm the kind of girl that can get a sweet tooth here. and I really, uh, I really enjoy desserts. So the fact that their main menu has two items on it and then their dessert menu has 24 makes me very happy. I like pie. <laughs> been such a fun day spending time with Luke and the kids and exploring South Dakota but the end of the day has been absolutely perfect my dessert was amazing and I'm now gonna go back to the camper and go into a food coma <laughs> at this point but I've had a lot of fun it's been fun reminiscing with Luke and the kids I think they enjoyed their dessert as well I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This is an actual telephone booth. It, the phone, it actually works. <laughs> Dial tone? I don't think they've ever seen a payphone before. Dial 88 for collect call. <laughs> <laughs> it's a click. <laughs>